Purpose and History Not to sound repetitive, but to really understand the importance of this class, you must first know its origin. CIT stands for Crisis Intervention Team. CIT is an inherently collaborative effort between law enforcement and the mental health community. The course is designed to assist law enforcement officers encountering individuals with mental illness experiencing a mental health crisis. So how did this training come about? In September 1987, Joseph Duane Robinson, a 27-year-old African-American man with a history of mental illness, was cutting himself with a knife and threatening suicide. Several white Memphis police officers answered the 911 call for service. Police officers are trained to respond with deadly force when they perceive their lives are in danger. At the onset of the incident, it appeared that the only life in danger was Robinson's from self-inflicted wounds. As they were trained to do at the time, officers at the scene confronted the man and demanded that he drop his weapon. At this, he became more upset and ran at the officers who, in fear for their own safety, opened fire and killed him. The shooting outraged the community. After debriefing this incident, it was discovered that the officers involved in the shooting were traumatized. With no other training to fall back on, they relied on their training and tactics. Following this fatal shooting, In 1988, the Memphis Police Department joined in partnership with the Memphis Chapter of the National Alliance on Mental Illness, NAMI, mental health providers, and two local universities, the University of Memphis and the University of Tennessee, in organizing, training, and implementing a specialized unit. This unique and creative alliance was established for the purpose of developing a more intelligent, understandable, and safe approach to mental health crisis events. This community effort was the start of the Memphis Police Department's Crisis Intervention Team. The Memphis model is having 25% of patrol officers CIT trained. CIT has now spread to most major cities and more than 3,000 law enforcement agencies around the country. Now you have the rest of the story, as Paul Harvey would say. With a better understanding of the history of why this training was started in the first place, it's critically important that the training not be taught solely by law enforcement. A diverse CIT training with subject matter experts will expand the knowledge level of the participants. I'm also a firm advocate that the order of the courses should be strategically thought of when building a training program. Officers should be taught the fundamentals first and then add to the skills that the officers are receiving as the days progress. So what's next? Let's take a deep dive into encountering a person experiencing a mental health crisis.